That was awesome. Yes, I'm Lee Thomason from the Moritz College of Law at Ohio State University, and I want to talk about never stop the questioning. But before I begin, let me ask, are there any questions? Oh, we never. I'll get back to you, okay? I think I just demonstrated the norm where I only invite inquiry, I only elicit Q&A when it's convenient for me. I'm collecting my thoughts, I want to get a drink of water or something. I don't really tune in to the students wanting to ask questions. So what I'm asking that we change that. We try to find a way to not stop the questioning. Before I taught students that they had the right to remain silent, I used to practice law, and there everything was questioned. I'd be making a nice, clear, logical point in court, and suddenly everybody would start questioning it. They'd, the judge would question it, the other lawyers would question it, my client would question it, the press would question it, but by that questioning, we'd resolve the conflicts, we'd generate explanations, we move on. That's what I want my students to understand. You've got to ask the questions to get going. But from there, I was lifted up. Yes, verily, I was lifted up from that environment until I was like one with the light. And it was as if my feet rested upon the clouds. And there's a slide for that. <laughs> I told you, see, wait for it. And from there, I knew that I was in a special place. What I had done was I had been elevated to the pulpit of professorship. Not Professor Dumb, Professor Ship. And there, I began to profess. And I was struck mightily by the fact that so few questions were being asked. And I just didn't understand it. I wanted to engage my students to be more inquisitive. I wanted them to participate in what we were trying to do, what we were trying to learn. So I had to ask, what was the problem? Was it the students? When, in grades K through 12, were you ever taught how to author a question? Did anyone ever teach you, or did you ever learn in that point in time, how to pursue a line of inquiry? No, maybe it was me, maybe I was the problem. When somebody would ask a question, man, I would nuke them with my response. Or I would just like flame out with this, that is such a great question. Let's etch it on the wall. But maybe it was really just blindness on all sides. I couldn't see that they wanted to ask a question, and they could not see themselves interrupting me during my lecture, my class, to ask a question, an honest question. Because what we have today in a digital classroom is a nation of great learners and teachers, and we're separated by LED screens. I'm looking at my monitor, I'm looking at my laptop lecture notes. They've got their laptops there. One side is their notes, and the other side is Facebook. Yes, yes, really, for sure, okay? So that separateness creates this barrier from the students acting as a democratic unit to decide what we're gonna talk about, and the professors up there trying to deliver information. Is your classroom a democracy, or does, the rule that prevails more authoritarian. If it does, then you stop the questioning. You've got to urge your students, goad them into believing that inquiry is what leads to understanding. Don't learn the lecture, question the material. So I needed an early stage idea, a digital idea to get my students to ask more questions during my lectures. And I wasn't gonna put a digital wrapper around the old way of doing things. No, I wanted to force Facebook off their laptops and replace it with a real-time digital dialogue box. Now here's how it plays in my class. That's my PowerPoint on one side. That's a real line of questions that students are asking. They're typing them in their tablets or their laptops as I give a lecture. And from there, everyone has signed in. They watch the feed of questions scrolling down the one side, and they participate in that fashion. They can ask whatever they want, whenever they want, and I answer it when it is appropriate. So, Here's what it looks like on their screen. They got their source material or their notes on the right, and this scrolling real time of questions is going up the other side. And it could be just preliminary questions, wonderment questions, gap filling questions, whatever. But I've tried to force that Facebook page off there and replace it with this dialogue box and make their laptops a place where they feel comfortable expressing their inquiries that I'm gonna answer during the time they ask them, later when it fits into my lecture, maybe after my lecture, maybe the night of after my lecture. So my early stage idea to do this has worked pretty well. It also gives me a complete record of every question that was asked. And I use that in my future planning of classworks. Uh, now the students, I think, learn from seeing what other people ask, and they also learn how to author questions and pursue, you know, 
uh, inquiry confidently. So you want your students to participate, right? You want them to ask questions. And after you've led them along and they become leaders themselves, you want them to know how to participate in a democracy. You've got to ask questions knowledgeably and willingly. Thank you.